I'm Mary Bailey, a granddaughter of Henry Bailey. My father was Wilfred, who was next but the youngest of the family of ten children. So I was born after my grandfather died, but I've heard such good stories about him. He was in charge of keeping the records of the boats that travelled, what they were carrying, and the weights of things that they were carrying. It was a family tradition to be working on the canal at that time. Henry Bailey, Grandpa Bailey's father, would be my great-grandfather, was lock keeper in the middle 1800s. Referring back now to William Jones's diary, there are entries are saying, warned so-and-so of doing wrong on the canal, pushing perhaps with their barges to get through and things like that. It was work and chapel that filled his life, work, chapel and family that filled his life. He was the patriarch, but he, he was not stern, he was loving. And my father was the youngest on this photograph. And that shows the size of Victorian families where the eldest, Gertrude, was at that time actually teaching, an uh, uncertificate teacher in Rogerstone School. Then Hilda, the next one, was, was acting as the mother of this large family because the mother had died in childbirth when my father was two. And of course, the other interest in his life was the chapel. Mm. And he and all of the family would have gone to Bethesda Chapel. Bethesda Chapel, of course, was just 200 yards from the canal with a, with a lane going up to the canal bridge. So everybody knew the canal, they walked along the canal, and so this was a natural thing. It was the centre of the community at that time, yeah. and flourishing large congregations. So it's very, very interesting, the link between the canal folk and Bethesda Chapel. It was the Whitson treat to go on the boat, possibly from Rogerstone to Risca. The boatmen would spruce up their boats. The boat would be absolutely crowded with children. And there are many, many photographs, not only in the Rogerstone area, but in the Risca area of the, the trips on the canal on Whit Whit Monday. The boys used to swim and dive in the canal. They would dive from the top of a lock down into the, um, the lower section and then of course that drained off into ponds. And my father tells the story of how he was dragged by the current down through a culvert, came out into a pond. His trunks were ripped off him and of course this was really frightening as well as rather funny. And of course, he was expecting a reprimand when he got home because the story would sorely get back to the family. But his, not his older sister, but Hilda, would sort of hush it up and say, well, we, no, we won't say anything to Gert, who was the disciplinarian of the family, and she sort of hushed it up. So, yes, and that must have been repeated so many times. There was a danger in swimming in the canal, actually, because it was quite shallow. <laughs>